And for this next one, we got Jacqueline Cavalcante. She's taking on Josiani Nunez. And not too interested in this fight. I feel like Cavalcante is almost 2-1 to one favorite. Probably about right. Nunez had that win streak that she was on. Snapped in her last fight against Chelsea Chandler. And Chandler came in, if I remember correctly, uh, overweight for that fight as well. And she was able to kind of blanket Nunez and get the victory. And even if she didn't... Um, she was just way bigger than Nunez and was able to just take her down and control her. And Cavalcanti, she's more of a striker. She went in there. She got the win in her UFC debut. And I think that the UFC is kind of trying to grow her here. And I do feel like she should get this victory fairly easily. She has good footwork, good movement. She kind of tries to pick her shots and work the three twos, two threes off the back foot. She'll mix in some kicks as well. And she does kind of back up with her hands down, though, a little bit. And Nunez with those wild blitzes and kind of looping punches, I'm a little worried she could catch Cavalcanti going backwards and rock her. That's the one thing that Nunez does possess is power. But if she doesn't land that shot, Cavalcanti is just going to land more numbers. Nunez is going to be coming forward with that bull-type style, being hittable. And Cavalcanti is just going to be dancing around her, kind of peppering her with these shots. And I don't see too much wrestling or grappling from either girl coming to play in here. And I just think that Cavalcanti is probably going to take this decision. But it's kind of a stay away for me because I'm not sold on Cavalcanti. And uh, Nunez goes in there and touches her chin. And I have a bet like almost 2-1 to one on Cavalcanti. I'm going to feel pretty stupid. So... But as a prediction, I'm going to go with Cavalcanti via decision.